Hey, did you guys catch um, Bill Maher last night? He really he 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 weighed in on the heaviest disc. He weighed on the on the uh, apple juice versus orange juice discourse, and boy, did he really bring it home! Oh yeah, Bill, as usual, laying down the law. Bill Maher, if you missed Maher last night, Bill Maher said he he in new rules he said um, orange juice is for men, apple juice, drink of choice for all pedophiles. Real. So true. So fucking real. Based Bill Maher does it again. <laughs> <laughs> Laying Billy down the based fat. Maher. <laughs> Everyone else is too scared. <laughs> yeah, he fucking finally settled this for once and for all. Yeah, apple juice confirmed pedo drink. Pedophile <laughs> drink. <laughs> New rule, people. If you're a grown adult, you have to be drinking orange juice. If I see a grown adult drinking apple juice... What are you, some kind of pedophile? What are you, a pedophile? <laughs> what are you, looking to fuck children? Yeah. There's a lot of big Bill Maher news to get to. Is it really? Yeah. But well, first, how about that intro, folks? How about that fucking intro, folks? How about that, huh? Shout yeah. out John Boy Studios. John Boy Studios. For all your animation and drawing needs. Merchandise. Yeah. Link link below. Link Hit him bo- up. Hit him up. Great great animator. Great, great talented. Dude. Great dude. Yeah. Go, get so at shout him. Shout out. He's the... Click Click on um, the links. And if you subscribe. don't have animation needs, go through his account and like them. Yeah. Like the videos. So, yeah, actually, we, we, we got a couple missions for you guys today. Yeah. Mission yeah, one, <laughs> you're going to go to John Boy's various accounts. You're going to follow them. You're going to give him a follow. You're going to throw some thumbs up, some hearts, whatever the platform money requires. Money, if, if you have a, a need, throw him some money. Yeah. So that's, that's, that's... Mission one. Mission one. Mission two, if you enjoyed... Wild Bill Hannigan last week. Yes. He has a new special out. Link also below. Yes. He felt, even though he <laughs> talked to us and then dropped it approximately one hour later, <laughs> he didn't mention it on the show, I guess as a sign of disrespect <laughs> to <laughs> us and our audience. Right. So we're going to show that bastard. Yeah. And how we're going to do it, how we're going <laughs> to shove it in his <laughs> face, yeah. is you're going to hit the link. You're going to watch it for at least 30 seconds. You're going to hit like. Yes. And then you're going to post in the comments, fuck you, Hannigan. <laughs> Pro boys for life. <laughs> yeah. And that, that's, that's going to show him. Yeah, or yeah. comment, this is so touching, heart. Yeah, one of the two. <laughs> <laughs> or both. This is so touching, heart. Yeah. Smiley. Yeah. <laughs> you're going to watch for at least 30 seconds. Yeah. You could even watch the watch whole thing. Watch the whole thing. It's very funny. Yeah. It's very, very funny. So yeah, hit up John Boy. Hit up Will. Hit up Will. Those are your quests for the week. Those are your quests. So you'll, you'll be paid in tech creds yeah. upon completion. Oh, you'll be rewarded <laughs> richly. <laughs> All right, back to the back to the big news, Bill Maher. Yeah, what's going on with Maher? Um, well, pedo pedo juice. He announced that, that apple was, juice that was is big. for pedophiles. He's the first guy who's been brave enough to say that on premium cable. Yeah, because I've been thinking, like, I go to the grocery store. I've been buying my orange juice. And when I see these people buying apple juice in two liter jugs, yeah, it's distressing. Yeah, I mean apple juice is, it's like kind of sickly sweet, like a yeah. pedophile would enjoy. <laughs> it's a very, ju- it's a juvenile beverage. Yeah, it's it's clearly for babies, babies, and for <laughs> luring children. <laughs> Why would you need to have apple juice at your house unless you're trying to lure a kid there? When orange juice is right there. R- orange juice, you can drink not a lot of it. Yeah, because your tummy will hurt. <laughs> yeah, drink some. Oh, you can have a good amount though. Yeah, I usually I can have one moderate glass of orange juice before I get heartburn, mm. and it's delicious. It's quite nice. And you know what? I'll even. Well, what do we think about grape juice? That's. I'm thinking. That, okay, is so that pedo juice. Yeah, I'm gonna say orange juice is for like pedophiles. Yeah. Grape juice is if you're trying to fuck like a baby. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna say it. That shit is like weird. <laughs> <laughs> if you're a grape juice guy, <laughs> you're trying to fuck like babies. <laughs> but what if you enjoy like an occasional glass of grape juice? 
Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> I just think if I went to someone's house and they opened their fridge and they had a thing of grape juice, I'd be yeah. like, what? whoa, whoa, dude. So I feel like every, like, four years, yeah. I'll, like, have a bit of grape juice. And I'll be like, that was pretty nice. It's Does fine. Does that make me a pedophile? No, 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 no. I, just I think, think that's fine. I think regular grape juice consumers are crazy, though. Yeah, I mean, I wouldn't get it all the time. No. Like, orange juice, that's become a staple in my fridge. Yeah. Classic. Oh, yeah. That's my main drink. I love getting up at about... 9.30 Yeah And having orange juice first Yeah a nice crisp glass of cold old OJ Yeah also I'm just trying to get sick less And I want the vitamin C Yeah <laughs> And it does at least give the illusion Yeah That you're protecting yourself Yeah it's like I'm, ta- I'm taking vitamins in some way here Yeah I'm doing something that I think I'm supposed to And it's tasty and delicious And it's really good and it As goes long as you well get the good egg. shit Yeah I'd say Tropicana <laughs> Simply Orange Simply is crazy Those are the good ones Yeah Minute Maid shit Way too acetic Yeah 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 it's Disgusting no, the one exception with apple juice is if you're at an orchard. Right. And you can get some of that like real cloudy. Yeah, that's apple what juice. Bill was saying. That's the <laughs> that's the exception. <laughs> if you can get a little, because I, I did, I was thinking about the best apple juice I've ever had was at an orchard like eight years ago, mm. and it came in a little plastic apple thing, and it was like really cloudy. Mm. It, it was not clear. If you're drinking clear orange juice, you're a sicko. Apple juice. Or clear apple juice, yeah, yeah just, sorry. Just to clarify. Sorry. Just to sorry, clarify. Sorry. Editor's Slip. note. Slip. <laughs> <laughs> if you're drinking clear apple juice, you're a sicko. Yeah. But if you get some of that cloudy shit, it's like, okay, well. In the, in certain contexts, yeah, but I'll give it a pass. Although a bit of a side eye. I'll you're give it getting a side eye pass. I'm I'm suspect. Yeah. I'm I'm definitely questioning your FBI. Watch them. Mods, add them to the watch list. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but um yeah, I think grape juice, like being having like a, being a regular consumer of grape juice, I think is weird, because it's yeah, it's I like mean, you so don't sweet. Drink that shit every day. No, and I I just can't. I I don't think I've had grape juice since I was like four. Yeah, I mean, I, I, I can't remember the last again, time. I, every like five years. Yeah, I, it's such a rare grape thing. Juice. So ra- on rare occasions, and you know what? Some like Acceptable. sparkling grape juice. If you're if you're a guy like me mm. who can't have some can't have wine anymore. Yeah, you get a little too crazy at the function. Yeah. That's you know what? Sure, a glass or two. What other kinds of juice are there? Our listeners want to hear about juice. Yeah, um, grapefruit juice. I don't no think thanks. I've ever had it. No, thank you though. Too t- too tart. I do like um, like mango juice. Yeah, that's pretty nice. It's nice and thick. Yeah, it's heavy. It's like a syrup almost. Yeah, <laughs> it's just thick as shit. It's like the consistency of cum. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. <laughs> Tastes and feels just like cum. <laughs> Yeah, it is pretty nice though. Or pineapple juice on occasion. Yeah, again, but again, like, that's one like you want to drink that shit every day. Yeah, you're crazy. You're crazy. You're nuts. You want to have pineapple juice and grape juice every day. Yeah, I think all the I think the fringe juices, yeah. the non classics. Yeah, I think it's weird if you're a, a consumer of it every day. Yeah, you know? orange juice though. Classic. Based. Ba- Red pill. Based. Delicious. Trad pilled. Yeah. What is the, what was a classic fifties breakfast? Eggs, eggs, hash browns, yeah. OJ, OJ, coffee, coffee, pills. orange juice is based, <laughs> based. <laughs> based and trad pilled. If you drink return ju- to tradition, <laughs> <laughs> drink orange juice. <laughs> Reject this soy apple juice, high fructose corn syrup, soy fi, yeah. gay trans bullshit. Yeah, goy this goy. sip. <laughs> oh, enjoying your little goy sip there. <laughs> yeah, orange juice is. Red pilled and extremely based. Yeah. <laughs> so if you're a guy who's worried about having a trad life, you should be consuming orange juice as much as possible. Gallons. Yeah, you should have a big tankard. <laughs> if you're a trad guy, you should have a a horn, a ca- like a goat's horn. Yeah. Uh, that you use as a a tankard and fill it with OJ. Right. Yeah. Like the like a sh- yeah goat skin. Yeah. Flask. Yeah. Like a full s- of like a Mongol step hunter. <laughs> that's what the Mongols. That's why they were so successful. They, they were, were drinking mad orange juice. Tons of OJ and horse piss. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If you want, uh, if you want to no, activate, that, that's a trad breakfast. <laughs> horse piss and OJ. <laughs> yeah. One part OJ, one part horse piss. <laughs> yeah. One part Uzbeki foot that you. Cut off. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, out of an Uzbek's foot. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. The keys to success. Orange juice consumption. Seminal retention. Mm. No gooning. No gooning. <laughs> Only edging. Only edge gooning. <laughs> edge for hours. <laughs> no gooning. <laughs> no apple juice. No gooning. No gaming. A little gaming. A little gaming. <laughs> Sometimes gaming. 
Yeah, my my gaming disorder has been bad. You been playing Slay the Spire? Yeah. Well, it's just what on like a couple days ago, I had a kind of rare day where I just had nothing going on. Yeah. And I just gamed all day, and I felt yeah. really shitty. Yeah. Even though I hit a rare achievement. Yeah, I feel like awful. Yeah. It's like uh, but it's so fucking fun. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like in the moment I'm like this rocks this rules <laughs> and then by the time it's like 9 p.m. yeah I've been yeah. gaming for like 8 t- hours 8 hours <laughs> yeah. like, alright fuck it I'll do another 5 hours <laughs> yeah cause once 9 p.m. hits it's like uh. and the worst is when I don't have to be somewhere the next morning yeah so then it's like well, I can stay up pretty late yeah whatever and, and then I, like I got up at 10 yeah and I gamed until 2.30. 2.30. <laughs> and then the w- it, it all hits you when you go to bed. Yeah. And then you lay down and you feel your back like unfold from being like sat like this for yeah. 15 hours. And then you lay back and it's just like. So what have I done? And you're like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> and you just haven't had like a thought all day. Yeah. That's the craziest part is like if yeah. you game too long, it's your like brain you just... will just like start to turn back on as soon as you lay in bed. Right. And it's like, we haven't done any thinking today, man. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you just sort of turn off all day. Yeah. But uh, yeah, so that's what's, what's things really good for me, for I've, sure. I've had that where I've like, I've had like a day off and then like a game all day and then go do stand up at night. Yeah. And it's like, the fir- these are the first people I'm talking to. And yeah. I'm like, I'm just weird for an hour or so. <laughs> like, I'm just like odd. Yeah, I just I feel it in myself. I'm like, oh, I'm being like weird right now, and it's because I yeah. didn't do anything. Yeah, but game I'm, I'm, in, I'm still in gaming mode. <laughs> yeah, <clears throat> I'm being like, I'm being like aloof and strange right now. Yeah, well, welcome back, to Chrome Boys <coughs> Podcast, your gaming news source, your hub for all things gaming, gaming microtransactions. Get them out of here. Bye. Wokeness. Bye. No, thank you. Ugly women in my games. No, thank you. Yeah, I'll take hot, beautiful Japanese children. <laughs> thank you very much. I think there is a new Japanese game that has beautiful. Like naked women <laughs> as, it, as their characters. Oh. And people are pissed. People, are, Western people are mad. Yeah, they're like, get this out of no. here. <laughs> no. <laughs> is, it <laughs> is that really what's going on? I believe so, yeah. <laughs> There's some game with beautiful angels that people don't want. Yeah. They don't want you. See, see these are the. I, I saw some, yeah, some, you know, Western, disgusting la- Western harpy. <laughs> Yeah. Was being like, the director of this game has never even seen a woman. And then somebody posted his wife, who's like a <laughs> <laughs> beautiful <laughs> lady, <laughs> who looks a lot like the character in the game. That's cute. Owned. Oh, absolutely destroyed. <laughs> Japan, once again, owns the West. <laughs> I like that. I like that argument, though. That's funny that you've never even seen a woman. It's like, do you realize what you're talking about? Yeah. You're talking about gaming. Yeah. That's what you do so you don't have to see a woman. <laughs> Yeah. That's what happens when you're like, oh, I, I don't want to see a real woman because that's scary. Yeah. I want a game. Game. <laughs> I'm here to game. I'm here, for I'm here game. specifically to avoid women. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, the, it's I could spend my night doing this. Yeah. Or I could go out where women are present. Mm-hmm. No, thank you. Yeah. I, <laughs> not you've never even seen a woman. Hey, that's kind of the point. <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to keep it that way, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Please stay the fuck <laughs> away. I am <laughs> really trying to preserve that. Thank you. <laughs> I saw this. Maybe I'll edit it in. It was pretty funny. It's like a little thing of somebody. It's like from inside some like goon goggles. Yeah. There's some woman talking. It's like, wah, wah. <laughs> female voice detected, amplifying white noise. <laughs> 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 I need to get that as a drop. That's really funny. Yeah. Female voice <laughs> detected. Amplifying. <laughs> amplifying ASMR. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, oh. <laughs> oh, thank God. <laughs> but yeah, actually in Bill Maher news, yeah, there right. is, of course. Welcome back to the Chrome Boys Podcast, your source for Bill Maher news. <laughs> <laughs> There's a thing, I guess, Steve-O. Sober Steve-O. Steve-O, dude. Was, uh, he got invited on Club Random. Yeah. Which is like... Jackpot! <laughs> yeah, finally you're gonna make it. But then, um, because of his sobriety, he asked if Bill would not smoke weed during it, and um, Bill was just like, "No." <laughs> 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 Which I can relate to, because every episode you beg me not to smoke cigarettes. <laughs> 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 I'm like, please don't. <laughs> please. <laughs> please. It's making me sick. <laughs> it hurts I, my stomach. <laughs> I keep getting nauseous. Please. Don't. I say, shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> shut up. I'm smoking. <laughs> Can't hear you, pal, as you're lighting three at once. 
shut the fuck up. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. yeah we <clears throat> I was so. thinking about that. How many like methods we have for like weeding out the week on this show. Mm-hmm. Like if you're not in the room presently, mm-hmm. um, like listening to it, we play sounds that will annoy a certain type of caustic autism mm-hmm. so that they don't listen. Yeah. We have if you come uh, as a guest, you have to be able to survive the smoke the smokehouse. Yeah. Where we're gonna we're gonna blast every sort of we're gonna burn everything in here. Yeah. You better um, be able to take it. Yeah, we're this isn't a show for apple juice drinkers. Let's no. just, let's just <laughs> put it that way. That's why everyone who's been a guest on this show is a tough cool metalhead. Yeah. Who uh badass. Yeah, badass. A, a, every everyone we've had on the show is a badass liberal. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, all all based libs. <clears throat> I was actually thinking about the the based lib archetype um because uh, Rage Against the Machine came on the radio. Yeah. And I was listening to their lyrics, like what he was saying, mm-hmm. and I was like, this is really gay. I literally don't know if I've ever listened to a Rage Against the Machine song. I'll read you some of the lyrics, because it's like, I, I don't know what, I mean, maybe it's because I'm um, seven years old, mm-hmm. and the concept of a badass lib is like, kind of like, played out. Yeah, it's only, literally only Bill Maher is holding that down. <laughs> <laughs> like I don't know if because I'm like young, and I've I've been exposed to plenty of of edgy, angry libs. Yeah, who aren't afraid to, I'm, I'll call a genocide a genocide, motherfucker. Motherfucker. Like, <laughs> yeah. Um, <clears throat> but like, uh, listening to Rage Against the Machine, I was like, and also it's like sung by a weird like wigger guy. Isn't he like an Armenian wigger? <laughs> 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 but like the 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 core maybe it's again I and this could be because I'm young but like the core message of the their hit song killing in the name yeah. is that some police oh, are bad. Okay. I know that song sure. Some of the police are bad people. Yeah. And he just says it over and over and he's like some, some of those that burn crosses. Yeah. And he's just repeating it like it's like some profound realization. Well, cuz they're sort of like a bush era band, right? Yeah. Like early 2000s yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. And there's definitely been a big like cultural shift since then yeah you know but i i think yeah i think it's weird to pr- I, but i don't think even in that era it was like in in the space they were in which was like rock music and stuff i don't think rock music is ever kind of like rap rock aren't they sort of yeah but I, I think they played like to mostly like rock people mm. and like i think cul- in like rock music culture they've they've almost never been like pro cop um you know what I yeah. mean? Yeah. Like I, I just I, I, they seem to have gotten most of their attention from being like, I don't care about the police, which is like the basis of the genre they're in. I can't think of like one rock group that's like, and listen to the officer when he tells you to stop. You know? Yeah. I mean, I feel like <clears throat> maybe that's more of a country thing traditionally. That's some country music. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I respect the police. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's some country shit. Yeah. But like rock music, I don't think it's ever been. It's always been like socially aware and like I don't think it's, it's ever always been, been rebellious. Yeah, I don't think the I rebel music. Yeah. That's why I listen to the Stones. <laughs> <laughs> I think the Stones are yeah, like probably the only pro cop <laughs> just cuz they're all very frail and would get assaulted for being small. Yeah. But I I don't know. I just uh, like I was listening I mean, to it. I was like this is low key like I'm going to say it. Cringe. Cringe. Had me Whoa. Cringy. We oh, went no. there. We did it. <laughs> I said it. It's cringe. And uh, maybe it's also the fact that it's, yeah, like this weird... Killing in the neighbor. Yeah, this weird like little Armenian wigger who's like got dreads and goggles on. Because is my perception <laughs> correct that they're kind of like Limp Bizkit? But instead of just being but like, conscious, but like they're like con- socially conscious, limp biscuit, conscious limp biscuit. Like musically, it's kind of like the exact that, right? same. Yeah, limp yeah. biscuit was what it's su- that kind of music in its perfect form. Which yeah, is like, and limp biscuit has aged like fine wine. Yes, yeah. It's you just know, one of those days. Everybody sucks. Everything is fucked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> this is awesome. Yeah, I have limp biscuit on my like phone now. So it every, rules. every now and again, it'll come on while I'm driving, and yeah. I'm just like. Turn that shit up. Crank it, baby. Everything sucks. <laughs> Everything is fucked. Yeah, chocolate starfish. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, ladies, where you at? <laughs> yeah. They were awesome. But, yeah. like, trying to take that, which is, like, very goofy, but it goes hard. Yeah. I'm trying to take that and be like, I hate the police. I hate the police. The Iraq war is <laughs> fucked up. <laughs> there are innocent people there, motherfucker. Fuck it's like, George Bush. Yeah, it's like, oh, this is... Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> I was just listening to it, being like, maybe I'm too young to think this is cool. 
Yeah, I mean, uh, does anyone give a fuck about Rage Against the Machine anymore? Every now and no. again, I'll see him in the news that, like, what what what's the main guy's name? Tom Morello. Is that his name? I think. Isn't that Sir? Is Sir? No, I, he's I, from um, System of, System of a Down. Oh. Serge Tankin or whatever. Same he's sh- Armenian. Same shit. Yeah. Uh, that's who I was thinking. Oh, about. okay. But every now and again, I'll see him be like, "Whoa, Rage Against the Machine guy says." Fuck Trump. Whoa. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and I'm pretty sure they were, like, pro-get vaccinated. Oh, of course. Yeah, so it's like, I think they've just kind of always... You, get your fucking shot. <laughs> <laughs> it's embarrassing to be anti-vax. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah I, I just, <clears throat> I think they've kind of always been, like, retarded. Yeah. Well, this actually, this is something I wanted to talk about. Have you been following the Diddy? The L- Diddy? Man, that guy got a a bunch of really gay names. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> it's like he couldn't pick from all of these <laughs> extremely gay names. <laughs> Puff Daddy. Yeah, 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 loosely, yeah. I mean, I think we might need to get a get a thugonomics expert on the show <laughs> yeah. to really break this down. You know who does know this really well? B. Peters, baby. B. Peters, that's who I was thinking yeah. of. A resident um, black people <laughs> expert. <laughs> 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 yeah, Brandon does know black people really so well. Maybe we should get him on shortly to really break this down. Yeah. Because I'm not really much of a... Everybody knows me. I like listening to Moog Party Time <laughs> albums. <laughs> <laughs> I like listening to music played at Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I like Chuck E. Cheese stuff. Yeah, Minions music. That's what I like. Chuck E. Cheese um, stuff. Minions. But it does seem, from, from my pers- perspective... Yeah. It seems like every. It seems like all the rappers who are like were really like socially acceptable, mm-hmm. and the types who might show up at say a Democratic Party <laughs> fundraiser, <laughs> yeah. you know, your Diddies, your Jay Zs, yeah. your DJ Khaled, yeah. they're all evil gay rapists. I don't think DJ Khaled is a rapist. I saw someone on Twitter say he was. Oh really? And I didn't do any further research. That's unfortunate. I've only seen it once. Ah. Oh. But I believe it. That's unfortunate because I really liked DJ Khaled. Maybe not. Maybe not. As a guy, know. he's so funny. He's literally one random schizophrenic person, <laughs> and I did zero further <laughs> input. So they might their next post might have been about how Trish know. Stratus from WWE eats homeless people. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it could have. And I follow a bunch of those. Yeah. So who knows? But I've heard many times Diddy and Jay Z. Yeah. Evil. Evil gay rapists. Yeah. I've um, heard there's audio of. There's some audio recording of P. Diddy and Meek Mill having like angry gay sex. Well, yeah, from what I gather, he like he when he was a kid was like sucking some record executive's dick. Yeah, and then he became a uh, did that. Yeah, so. but it seems like the guys who were because those guys would like you know he's vote or die and they show up at like political shit. Yeah. They're pretty like in it. Yeah, and they're all evil. Yeah. But then all the guys who like went to jail or yeah. get pilloried in the press, you know, like Suge Knight, yeah, Gucci Mane, yeah. Kanye, yeah, f- fifty. Fine. They're yeah. they're all they don't they don't play like that. No, no, sir. Which is just kind of interesting that the guys who are like the most like fetid mm-hmm. are the most evil. Yeah, the guys who go to jail. Yeah, are kind the of least evil makes you rethink the whole rap game. The rap it does make you rethink the rap game. When Tupac said, "All eyes on me." When I'm, I'm what hearing people he say that Diddy killed both Tupac and Biggie Smalls. Right. Yeah, I've heard that too. And like blew up. Oh, fuck! What's some some guy's car? Yeah, I, I don't. <laughs> Shit, like, whatever. Crazy. We'll, we'll, we'll get B. Peters on here to break it down further. Yeah, a resident black people expert. <laughs> <like her>. Because <laughs> I don't know, I don't know shit. It's yeah. just, uh, I was just talking to Brandon about coming back on actually, so that works out good. That it works out good that everyone found out that this guy was like a monstrous rapist. Yeah, shocking that a guy named Puffy is gay. <laughs> 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 yeah, shocking that a guy who wants everyone to call him daddy yeah. is a gay. Because he went from what? Puff Daddy to Puffy to P. Diddy yeah. to Diddy. Yeah. All gay. And nobody clued in? <laughs> 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 yeah. <coughs> yeah. That's good stuff. Yeah, we will get Brandon on shortly. Yeah, to break it break it all down. We'll get Brandon on the yoga ball. On Chrome right Boys, your, your go-to source for hip-hop news. Yeah, BET. That stands for Brandon Entertainment Television, baby. Mm-hmm. We're gonna get Brandon. <laughs> We're gonna get him to explain black people to us. Yeah, what's the deal with <laughs> black people? Oh man, I wanted to bring this up on the show because it's because rel- we talked about it in uh, one of our l- recent episodes about Walmart. Right. Yeah. I just had to go back there yesterday <coughs> for more groceries. Revisiting the scene of the crime. Yeah, for more groceries, and uh, it was like it was like they watched the episode and were like, "We're gonna dial it up." Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, they thought Walmart people were gross. Yeah. 
They they were we'll like, show them gross. It was like they they listened to what we said and were like, they haven't seen shit yet. <laughs> 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 so I go in to get my like eighty five dollars worth of groceries, which is some tuna and bread. Yeah, two and, <coughs> two cans of tuna and some orange juice. Thanks, Trudeau. Yeah, and um, as soon as I walk in, there's this like. Uh, very like very piss smelling couple walking in front of me. Yeah. Um, and they're they're just going everywhere I'm going. So I'm like trapped behind this like very piss smelling couple. Man, they must have been like pretty severely piss smelling if you were smelling it in a Walmart. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I mean, there's a lot of there, there's a lot of smells. <laughs> yeah. And there's just like, a lot of like space. Yeah, it was huge, and I was like I was probably like eight feet behind them. Damn. And, like I could like smell it. So they smelled like um, if you've ever been into like an uncleaned. 7-Eleven bathroom. Oh. It's like... What did they look like? Like they smelled like piss. Oh, okay. The, well, the wife was like a um, very orbular, oh, okay. round... Yeah. Um, she was that that fat that type that wears really small glasses. Oh, okay. You ever see that morbidly obese style where they have really tiny glass Or they have normal glasses that look really small. <laughs> <laughs> okay. And like their head is like folding around the glasses. Oh, okay. That nice. kind of fat person in like a muumuu. Yeah. And then her husband was like probably some concrete worker. Mm. Um, less fat, but still quite fat. Mm-hmm. Um, in like a ball cap. And he was really sweaty. He if was you like had to s- guess which one was generating the piss smell. Or both. I think it was a combination of both their pheromones mm. um, that that mm. creates the piss smell. Yeah. Um, but the the husband extremely sweaty. Nice. Yeah. Like like his back was like, <laughs> you can see his shirt. God like damn. crazy back <laughs> sweat. And I was like, whoa, whoa. <laughs> and they were just going everywhere I needed to go. Like every aisle, they were there. Yeah. So I was like, oh my god. Like I just can't. I can't escape. Get away. <laughs> so I, I just want my like, tinned fish. Yeah, I try, yeah. I was like just trying to get my shit and go because I was like they're everywhere I need to be. Mm-hmm. And then, well, I was in the aisle looking at fucking. I bought some Nutella as a treat. Oh, that's a, that's a nice little treat. As a little treat, I bought some <laughs> Nutella. <laughs> yeah. Um, so I was in that aisle and I was like going to get it. And then the husband, I hear him like coughing a lot. He's doing. He's just like. <laughs> I was like, oh my god! Of course, no, no, just no, nothing. He, he like tilts his head back and is just like. <laughs> <laughs> and I was like, oh my god! And then he leans down. He, he leans over the cart. Yeah, and he's pushing their cart, and he like leans his head on the hand, the bar of the cart. Yeah, and then hawks the fattest loogie I've ever seen onto the floor of the Walmart. Damn! And he's just like. <laughs> And then he gets up. Christ, that's and so gross. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so he spits on the floor. Yeah. And sorry, we were in the laundry aisle, not the Nutella aisle. Okay. So yeah. they had Arm & Hammer laundry detergent. Yeah. And he spits on the floor. His yeah. wife is in front of the cart. And then he goes, <coughs> sees the Arm & Hammer, and then yells at his wife, you know, I used to have a shirt that said Armed and Hammered. <laughs> 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 and then his wife goes, <laughs> nice. Damn. And then they keep walking. And then I walked by to check because I was like, did he fucking spit? Yeah. And I walked by and there's a fat fucking loogie on the floor. God, what color was it? Like uh, like green, white. Ugh. I was like, he really spat on the floor at Walmart. That's like the platonic ideal of a Walmart customer. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> like, you yeah. know, I used to have a shirt that said <laughs> armed and hammered. <laughs> and then his wife like laughing so hard. Um. <clears throat> yeah, it was like, I was like, oh That's my foul. god! Yeah, like the the he already kind of was like pissing me off with the open mouth, coughing everywhere. Yeah, I was like, come on, man, <laughs> it's a grocery store. Y- yeah, like that's a little. It's a little much. I, I'm not gonna like it, it's whatever, but it's also just like that's fucking crazy to just be open mouth coughing everywhere and then spitting on the floor. I've never seen someone like, yeah, hawk a loogie just on the floor of a. I mean, that's <clears throat> that's foul. Yeah. That's real gross. I was like, oh, my God. Yeah. Oh, my God. He was probably off to the apple juice aisle. <laughs> he was off to the fucking Dr. Pepper aisle. Mm. He was getting... They had a lot of... All they yeah. had in their cart, by the way, was um, Kraft Singles cheese <laughs> and, like, eight cases of Diet Coke. <laughs> <laughs> of course, <laughs> it's like, Diet Coke. <laughs> I know. I was like, damn. The immortal words of Donald Trump echoing through history. Never seen a thin person drink Diet Coke, <laughs> <laughs> but it's okay. I'll keep I'll keep drinking that shit. <laughs> we are probably yeah. the two of the thinnest Diet Coke. Nick Nick McQuick is probably the the healthiest Diet Coke consumer. Yeah, Nick like runs every day and like exercises all the time. Right, he's probably the healthiest guy to drink DC. Yeah, 
but I, um, yeah. Yeah, it was it was the grossest shit I've ever seen. Maybe for the Patreon, I got a two liter of Diet Pepsi upstairs. Maybe Let's I'll go. bust that out. Ooh, <laughs> some nice. Drink, drink. Oh, it's it's afternoon now. Yeah, we're good. Yeah, we're good. Well, this was the morning edition for. Yeah, it's four minutes. o'clock somewhere. We can have a DC whenever you want. It's a DP. DP. Which I gotta say, worse than Diet Coke. Yes, okay. I wouldn't say it's bad. I, I I don't mind it, but it is worse than DC. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. But yeah, it was just a really upsetting thing. Yeah. To watch a guy uh, cough everywhere and then hawk a loogie and then immediately say something unbelievably <laughs> retarded to his <laughs> wife. <laughs> They sound like a good match, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Both fat, <coughs> both stupid, both smelly. Yeah, and everything about it was like, this is... Yeah, he was so, sw- like, drenched in sweat. I don't know if he was, like, dealing with, like, food poisoning at the time or something. Yeah. He was, like, so sweaty. His wife was wearing, like, um, what is, like a... What do they call it? Like, a Snuggie? Like, she had this big, like, bl- blouse thing on oh. that was open, like, at the back, and then she had, like, normal fat girl wear. Damn. Yeah. That's, I mean, that, was it one of those ones that kind of has the consistency of, like, a towel? I guess uh, you probably didn't go up and do the fabric <laughs> thing. But. I mean, if she was really wearing a Snuggie, that's probably what stunk. Probably. <laughs> she had some sort of strange, like, smock on. Mm-hmm. Well, she was, like, sort Wa- of. Waddling around. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And she did have, like, a waddle. Damn. And then her husband, who, yeah, just, he, he was, he was, like, alcoholic fat. Like, mm-hmm. he wasn't obese, but he had a huge <laughs> stomach. Like he had like this enormous <laughs> stomach. <laughs> His whole chest was like huge. Damn. And then he was just yeah, hawking loogies at Walmart. I mean, if you want to see those kind of people, Walmart is the place to go. Yeah, yeah. It's it was it's like those kind of people and like, um, I I honestly I think like people who like escape their like, um, assisted living facilities <laughs> like wander <laughs> there. <laughs> they yeah. Just go there. I know a lot of old people like walk the aisles of Walmart to get like steps in. Yeah, I mean, I guess that's like mall walking kind of. Yeah, 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 yeah. Just go do it in the Walmart. At the grocery store near where I used to live, they used to have like, like a league of like aisle walkers who would like race past you pushing carts and like those. Remember those Skechers shoes that were huge? Oh, and right. Round? Yes. They would yes. wear those and like r- like burn pat like they check like body check you out of the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, the mall over here it has it's like a fleet of old people during the day. We just kind of like walk back and forth yeah. through the depressing ass mall. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no yeah. yeah, that mall nothing. sucks. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's got nothing. <laughs> yeah, it's all like fly by night stores that'll pop up for a month yeah. and look like shit. And a cell phone nothing. repair facility that just steals your personal info and shit. Yeah. 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 It's that kind of mall. Yeah. But old people love it. They love it in there. Yeah. It's got an A&W at the food court. It does, yeah. Perfect. That's where they go. They get their little, the small coffee. Yeah. And then they walk up and down the mall. They, they'll get a small coffee and drink it for seven hours. <laughs> yeah. They can microwave it like four <laughs> times to get it hot again. Yeah. Ooh. Ooh, a little Ooh. hot. Ooh, a little too hot. I'll let it cool and off. And then they forget about it for an hour and a half, and then they're like, oh, it's cold. Yep. Gotta better, microwave that. Gotta re-microwave my small coffee. Microwave it again. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, I just couldn't. I couldn't believe, and I, I, I was like, I don't feel like it's asking too much to not, um, to not see that at Walmart. Yeah, and I mean, I'm not even like a, you know, germaphobe or whatever, but no. um, actively hawking a loogie on the ground. Yeah, is like a that's little pushing much. it. Yeah, and also cover your mouth if you're coughing. Yeah, don't don't head back. Big fat guy, like full body convulse, like he, yeah, he was like <coughs> <coughs> and because it, it's just like it, that. It's just like I don't want spit on my groceries. He was obviously like phlegmy, like he was hawking he, shit up. Yeah, like, it's not like he's just dry coughing. It was like a yeah. real like chesty, like because <coughs> like obviously I don't think COVID is real. No, I'm not worried about that. No, but I think whatever the fuck is wrong <laughs> with you is real. Yeah, it's tuberculosis <laughs> or something. <laughs> yeah, whatever, whatever, like. Like I, I, yeah, I don't care about COVID, but I don't want whatever the fuck you're dealing with, pal. Yeah, I don't want to end up like you, sweating and. I coughing. mean, even if he's not sick, it's just gross having like fat, smelly guy loogies all over <laughs> your fucking <laughs> your delicious yeah. Nutella treat. It was like the worst combo of things. It was like, oh, they smell horrendous. Yeah, they look crazy. Yeah, he's coughing and like <laughs> farting and sweating everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> I was yeah. like, damn, I'm, I'm probably walking slow as fuck. Too. So slow and taking up their. I mean. Most of the aisle. Yeah. I did get pinned at one point because Walmart, some of the aisles, they have the, like, support columns for the roof mm-hmm. in the aisle. Oh, yeah, yeah, and yeah. And it's just, like, I, can, I can't get... Stuck. That aisle's blocked now if you're in it. Yeah. Because you you ta- you are as wide as the column in the aisle. Yeah. Welcome back to Chrome Boys Podcast, your source for Walmart news. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this week, uh, bread is on sale. Wonder Bread. 
get in and get that. Yeah. I actually, since you've been hyping up tuna so much, I've been eating a lot of tuna sandwiches it's myself. A- awesome, it's eh? It's really good. It's really awesome. I like throwing a little bit of uh, mustard. Oh, yeah. In with the mayo. Yep. little cheese. Cheese. You see, I put some sliced cheese. Oh. Mayo, mustard in the tuna, or I mayo in the tuna. I put some pickles. Pickles is good, too. Mustard, mayo. Up. Yeah. Some pickles. Yep. It's good. And it's just filling. It's just perfect sustenance. Yeah. It's just like, all right, I'm one, not hungry anymore. One can, you get two nice sandies out of it. Two perfect sandies. Yeah. Yeah. There you go. Those are my go-to meals. It's that, and I buy, um like, Ichiban. Oh, okay. Like pack, like, ramen or whatever. Yeah. And then, like, cans of Spam. Oh, okay. And just slice the Spam up and, like, grill it. Oh wow! And then just put it in hard boil an egg. Takes like twenty. That sounds minutes. pretty good. It's I've literally good never had spam in my life. Really? Yeah. It's fine. Is it dees? Y- oh yeah, it gets like a weird. I just reputation. had a bad. R- I it's always had a bad rap, but I know Hawaiians like it. It's totally fine. Yeah, yeah it's fucking just canned meat. Yeah. I like mean, it's probably kind of gross if you eat it like with a spoon direct out of the can. That's psychotic. That yeah. would probably be nasty. Yeah, but like cook- like cooking it. Cause it's like, like it's like ham, ham, kind of, pretty much. <laughs> <laughs> it's, yeah, it's ham-ish. So hmm, maybe I'll try out some spam. But it's fucking, it's like cheap, like meat, like protein in a thing. Yeah, and you can like season it the fuck out of it, and it's like good as hell. Yeah, I mean, I know like high-end, like you know, haute cuisine Hawaiian chefs use it a lot because they they can't get enough of that shit in Hawaii. Yeah, I don't know. It's just good. Like, you, it's all about, like, how you see... Yeah, eating it with a spoon out of the can is like, insane. <laughs> <laughs> Probably nobody... Well, somebody might. Someone do does it, for sure. British yeah. people. Yeah. Because that's how... I, that's why my British grandma was always like, I'll make Spam sandwiches. Yeah. And then she'd just, like, cold slice it and put it on bread with cheese. Damn, my British grandma <laughs> was also a heinously bad cook. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think maybe it's just, like, I don't know... Brits of a certain era yes. just couldn't cook for shit. No. Like my grandma, um, she would make tomato sandwiches where she'd like cut <laughs> the tomato <laughs> with like a dull knife. <laughs> so that's all fucked up. Yeah, and then like, but it would like, you know, push all the juice out. Yeah. But then just like pour the juice on top. Oh. So it would just be like soaking wet. <laughs> like, <laughs> first bite, it's already uh. totally soggy. <laughs> and did, did your British grandma, was she crazy on rice pudding? Yeah, yeah. She I did mean, like rice pudding. I it's the reason I like it now. Yeah, I it's, love it's rice not pudding. bad. It was one of the better things she'd make. It was the best part of the British grandma and lunch. She, and like she, she really lived up to the, like white people don't be seasoning <laughs> shit. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. she'd like boil meat <laughs> with like not even salt on it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. God rest her soul. Yeah. The lady could not cook. <laughs> no, I think that's a thing for them. Yeah, my British grandma was the same. Yeah, but I mean, I think, you know, we kind of forget, like, even my parents, like, uh, I know my dad said he didn't even have spaghetti till he was an adult. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? Like, there just wasn't food. <laughs> like, what the fuck? It was, it was like, exotic and foreign. At spaghetti? The time. Yeah. That's crazy. Yeah. That's, that, like, my it, go-to when I don't have any money. But I think, like, until more recently than people think, yeah, at least, like, here, there just, like, wasn't, yeah, like, I, ba- like I, I th- he said, like, when he was a kid... They they had potatoes with every single meal. Right. Your meal would be like potatoes and like a piece of meat. That's crazy. <laughs> and <laughs> and spaghetti was exotic foreign food. That's wild. Although there was Chinese food. Yeah. Huh. But the Chinese food was like you Do- know, literal dog. Yeah, it was like dog and potatoes. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You go to a restaurant, you're having <laughs> potatoes and a piece of meat. <laughs> like <laughs> you're having potatoes and duck. Yeah. Yeah. So people don't know this, but Toronto literally did not have Cult. restaurants <laughs> until 1975. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I remember that, though, the British grandma, spending the day with British grandma, and you'd lunch was a Spam sandwich and rice pudding. Would she, like, cook the Spam? Or no, no, no. Direct? Cold slice, like, open the can, take a slice, two slices usually to fit on yeah. the bread. And then, yeah, spam, like, uh, bread, spam, slice of cheese, bread, cup of rice pudding, and then, like, chocolate milk. And you're off to the races. I'm ready to go. Yeah. I'm ready to run around outside again. I mean, I'm guessing, just, like, the way spam looks, I feel like the texture is probably pretty fucked up if you don't cook it first. Yeah, when I take it out of the can to, like, cut it, it's, like, slimy yeah. and cold. Yeah. Um, but then as soon as, like, all you just put, like, I put some, like, butter on the pan. Yeah. To slice up spam. And then yeah. I put, like, t- I put tahini. Which is like a Jamaican seasoning. Tahini. Oh, it's oh not, not like tahini? No, it's called tahini. Like uh, T-A-J-I-N or something. Oh, okay. And it's like I put a little bit of that and then like lime juice. 
and it just goes nuts. Mm, sounds it's like a tropical delight. It is. It's very exotic, fun. Yeah. Tropical. I have that in some orange juice, and I go, where am I, the Bahamas right now? Yeah, and you can, like, close your eyes and imagine that you're, like, a soldier in World War II. Yeah. And you're being served by a beautiful island girl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm being... S- <laughs> <laughs> a newbie and angel. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. Heaven. <laughs> Perfect. As I sit in my <laughs> shitty basement suite <laughs> <laughs> with my cat screaming at me. Yeah, listening to uh, some Johnny Pineapple music. <laughs> <laughs> the land beyond the sea <laughs> somewhere <laughs> waiting for me as so I you eat. turn your dirty ass fan to blow in your face and imagine it's an ocean breeze <laughs> blows like soot and dust in your face <laughs> I just taste dust <laughs> hello Hawaii <laughs> I'm sipping Hawaiian punch <laughs> out of the little like chode bottle yeah <laughs> A tropical delight. Yeah. I'm listening to Hawaii blues or whatever that Elvis album is. Yeah. <coughs> yeah. But no, yeah, I like I like some spam. It's pretty good. And it's like for how much like meat you get, for like meat, it's a pretty good deal. What's a can of spam cost? Like two seventy five. It's not bad. Not crazy. Tuna costs like two bucks. Yeah. It's yeah. Crazy. Yeah, because you can get the normal cans that are like yeah, two two something. Yeah. And then they'll get make you two sandwiches, so it's like a dollar a sandwich. Yeah, um, which isn't too bad. I guess. Not crazy. Could be cheaper. I wouldn't mind if it was cheaper. Well, then you can get the little like pre-seasoned shit with like lemon pepper and whatever, and those are like ninety cents. Oh, okay. They're smaller cans. Yeah, but it works out about the same, about a dollar a sandwich. Yeah, and I like to get the ones that look kind of more fancy, like not the real cheap looking ones, because uh, with those ones, I'm like, that's gonna be cat. <laughs> <laughs> you know, <laughs> like this is close to cat food. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, true. That's the other thing about that's the the optimal thing about having a tuna sandwich and owning a cat mm-hmm. is that when I'm up, so is he. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I do this thing now where I, instead of I drain most of the tuna water like into the sink or whatever. Yeah, and then I'll put a little bit in his water bowl. In his water bowl. Mix the tuna water in. He's just got some tuna, fl- and he's just got tuna tuna soda over there. Nice. He just goes over there, sips it up. He's like, "Damn, that's good stuff." Yeah, that, like the cats here don't really give a shit about any human food. Yeah. Except tuna juice. Yeah. And like the second <laughs> the can opener <laughs> like pierces it. Yeah. We've got like three <laughs> cats directly behind me, like meow, meow, <laughs> meow. It's awesome. So I have to set aside an extra bowl and I just drain it yeah, in. Yeah, it feels nice. And they go hard. Yeah, mix a little bit into their water. Yeah, they like it. They might, because one of the cats never gets any. <laughs> <laughs> the most, the the meeker one, yeah, never gets a t- t- <laughs> even a drop. <laughs> yeah, I love. It just feels like uh, it's the closest I feel to my 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 animal companion when I'm making a tuna sandwich, and I'm like, this is for us. Yeah, soldier. Well, yeah, and I mean, if the economy keeps going the way it is, maybe in a few years you can just uh, <coughs> have cat food and literally just share that. <laughs> and I can eat friskies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, we'll all be eating friskies. <laughs> and the cat, I guess the cat will have to get downgraded. What's lower than cat food? Um, He'll have to eat like... Grass uh, or something. He'll have to eat mealworms yeah. for like a lizard. Yeah, worms. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> He'll be out in your backyard digging up worms <laughs> to feed your cat. <laughs> Catching grasshoppers. you have to eat the friskies. <laughs> <laughs> There's I only <laughs> enough money <laughs> for one of us to have friskies, <laughs> and it's me. <laughs> I need the protein <laughs> to have energy to catch worms <laughs> later tonight. <laughs> so yeah, so I'm eating the fancy feast. <laughs> Ooh, it comes with gravy this time. <laughs> All oh. right, half for now <laughs> and half for tomorrow. <laughs> How long are we out on this? I want to know if I have time to get in to... Uh, Oh, yeah, we're at 43 minutes. Okay. okay. These ones might have to be a little bit short just because I have pressing, urgent business I need to attend to. We have a business meeting, but I can get into it a little bit. Yeah. We have some time. Oh, yeah. We, yeah, we're, we're not. We're, we're good. Yeah. We're um, chilling. No need to panic. It's okay. Chill. Chill. Relax. Relax. We're with you. We're cool. We're going to guide you through this. <laughs> <laughs> but but all right, unload. The Speaking of eating cat food, yeah. the Cobraverse oh. has been going nuts. Yes. Okay. It's been Welcome going back crazy. To Chrome Boys podcast, your number one source for King Cobra JFS news. <laughs> <laughs> it's he's evic- He's been evicted. Really? Yeah. He got evicted from his apartment. For what? His girlfriend being loud. 
Really? Yeah. She was too... <laughs> <laughs> it's so Damn. fucking over right now. It is so over. Damn. Yeah, she got him that evicted. Bitch. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and then, because uh, I like... I, I, le- were they having like screaming fights or something? She was just having meltdowns. He was being perfectly... He Actually, the videos are crazy because it's like... His I, I haven't been keeping up, so just catch catch me up because I know you were saying that they've she's back. So she she's left now, but she was back but for another was week, back, and they were yeah. fighting. There's trouble in paradise. Y- they they were having like real like forty year marriage. They were having like we both stink at Walmart and I'm spitting on the ground fights, like forty year angry marriage fights. Damn. Where like uh, there was one where she's she, he I think she just gets on his nerves because Josh is a he's like a lizard. He has his places he likes to be. Yeah. Don't disrupt him. He's got his chair. He likes to sit in. Yeah. <laughs> he li- he's got his kitchen. He likes to cook in. No. Yeah. And his bed. He sleeps in once a week. Yeah. Don't fuck with him. Yeah. Let the man live. And if and she so what was happening? My theory is because we had we got confirmation that she has a prescription for Xanax. Right. And he's having some, and that 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 unravels the mystery we discussed. I think last <laughs> why week he's or so something. fucking sedated whenever she's over. Yeah, it's because they're taking, it, which is whatever. Popping zannies. She's not drugging him. He's just like, oh shit, you got zans. <laughs> I can. Well, like fair enough. Yeah, whatever. <clears throat> Josh likes to party. Yeah, he's gonna party. But um, my theory is that because that they're they're doing that. Yeah. She didn't have enough. No. Oh. And so she was like blowing up at him. Yeah. Like all that. Like they had the biggest fight. There's a huge fight that I, I watched where, like... And, of course, it being Josh, it's all streamed. All <laughs> live. Yeah. All live. And even when the stream ended, someone called him, and then he didn't hang up. And then you could just hear the rest of the fight on the call. He's just a true showman. Yes. <laughs> well, what I like about him is I've never seen him in this situation. It's Josh in the situation where a woman is screaming at him. Right. Like a very unstable woman, a yeah. girlfriend. Is yeah. he breaking down yeah and in that instance you have to start making conversational concessions right you have to start being like i'm sorry right how can we fix this but josh, josh. can't do that <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I, that's, I don't think that's in josh's like <laughs> toolkit <laughs> that's that's it for a different class I that's mean, the starting equipment for a different class that josh doesn't have we've all seen josh own haters time and time again, again and again but that's his default mode yeah is owning people who are butt mad yeah, Josh is <laughs> Josh is a rogue. Yeah, his his class is a rogue. But yeah. having a screaming girlfriend at you—that's a fighter class sort of encounter. Right. And he just doesn't have the toolkit for it. Yeah. He doesn't have the stats. He doesn't have the the equipment. Yeah. So she's like, she's also like nuts. Right. Like she's like red flag, like e break on the highway, <laughs> insane. Like yeah. ah, get out immediately. <laughs> yeah. Because uh, <clears throat> so the big fight started because she had just spent all day cleaning his kitchen. Okay. Which is like an hour long job tops. Right. She'd spent the entire day doing it and streaming it and just talking to herself and like working herself into being pissed at Josh for something. Right. Um, she was like, I do all this for nothing. Oh. I'm just sitting here <laughs> slaving for no reason. I'm just, and Josh just gets to go out. And he went out with his buddy to like chill. Nice. <laughs> She's chill. at home cleaning. <laughs> Josh loves chilling. He loves Any woman ch- who's going to get with Josh needs to understand that he loves to chill. He loves chilling. Yeah. So she's streaming and just like working herself up yeah. to no butt. And the trolls are obviously being like, you're dumb. And then she's <laughs> like, no, I'm not. Shut up. <laughs> and then by the time he comes home, Josh is wanting some bratwurst hot dogs. So he's like, nice. Jessica, I'm going to go cook some hot dogs. Yeah. Do you want some? She was like, sure, Josh. Two for you, two for me. Yeah. So far, b- beautiful. Yeah. Perfect, Perfect romance. Perfect. He pulls out a new pan that she had just cleaned. Okay. She says, Josh, please just use a pan y- or that you used earlier today when you were doing your food video. Yeah. She said, it's got bacon grease in it. You love bacon grease. Yeah. Keep the bacon grease. Use it for the hot dogs. Okay. Josh says... Why do you give a fuck how I cook my <laughs> hot dogs? <laughs> Which is mistake one. Yeah. Because then she goes, what? And he says, why do you care how <laughs> I'm going to cook my <laughs> hot dogs? <laughs> and she starts losing her... M- she starts, like, screaming at him. She's like, do I have to start hitting myself in the head again? And he's like... Has, had she been doing that? Apparently. Okay. She, the way she said it as if it's pretty common. She's like, do I have to start hitting myself? And Josh is cool as ice the whole time. Yeah. He's like... No, Jessica, you don't have to <laughs> hit yourself. <laughs> Just, I don't understand. And at this point, Josh, you have to drop the pan issue. Yeah. Just focus on diffusing her. But he's like, yeah. I just don't understand why you care how I cook hot dogs. <laughs> and then she's like, I don't care. It's your hot And it just got nuts. 
and it blew up, and then uh, they were just like, scre- she's like pounding, she's like jumping up and down on the floor and like stomping and shit. So it's like, yeah, the, that fight is definitely got noise complaints. Yeah, um, and then, <coughs> and then, uh, yeah, they they hung up. The, they ended the stream. And then someone like called Jessica, and then yeah, she didn't hang up the call, so you could just hear the rest of the fight. Like the yelling and she her hitting herself. Well, she then she started talking about how she's like, I'll go to the gas station, I'll buy a fucking machete if I have to. Jesus. Which was like, whoa, whoa. And Josh got evicted because of this. That's what people are speculating. It was like this fight in particular, but she was just being like yeah. extreme. Like all the streams I watch with them together, she is just being like obscenely loud. Damn. Yeah. This is the. Because last time he got evicted for fumes, I believe. Fumes and smoking. <laughs> <laughs> he was spray painting and smoking cigarettes in his apartment. Damn, I wonder what the next move. Is he going to move in with her? I don't know. Because I, I, some, some people are giving her too much credit, and they're saying she's like a genius. Getting him evicted and then being like, well, let's just get a place together. Maybe. But I don't know if she's that. I mean, she might be. She might be that smart. Yeah. But also, I don't know. She if knows she, she's got to lock that shit down. He's a wild, wild man. Yeah. But then the next day, he uploaded a YouTube video of them at a graveyard. And it's him just drinking absinthe and beers in a graveyard. So that sounds like he would love that. And smoking cigars. He was having a blast. <laughs> yeah. yeah. He was smoking cigars <laughs> and using it. He had brought a Ouija board. Yeah. And he's just drinking absinthe and then Coors uh, Banquet sitting in the graveyard. Just ch- chilling. The vibes actually in that video are immaculate. I do kind of suspect that. She's going to get pregnant. Yeah, I could see it. <laughs> That'll be the the arc for the next 20 years of them, like, <laughs> yelling at each other as some little kind of frog-looking kid <laughs> gets bigger and bigger. And then one day replaces Josh. <laughs> he starts chilling. <laughs> he starts chilling. <laughs> Josh t- teaches him everything he knows about cooking. Yeah. <laughs> he starts making meats <laughs> and nachos <laughs> <laughs> Josh said on the stream I was watching last night. Josh Jr. <laughs> <laughs> Baby Cobes. <laughs> Little Cobes. The yeah. rattlesnake. The, ra- <laughs> the rattlesnake. <laughs> the Wyoming rattlesnake. <laughs> Some people are speculating that they're going to find Josh's lizard once they start moving furniture. Oh. <laughs> Just a lizard skeleton. That sucks for Josh, though. Yeah, it does suck. He doesn't deserve that, man. He had a perfect environment there. Yeah. His tank was perfect <laughs> in that apartment. <laughs> yeah. He had his chair <laughs> just where he liked it. He's going to have to mm. sort out his whole new situation. Damn. Yeah, which is going to be it's going to be a new chapter. Yeah. Because uh, so far in, in my time keeping up with Josh, he's had two apartments. Right. His old one where he was smoking and, vi- and spray painting. Mm-hmm. And there was a visible bike in the back, his cool chopper bike. Yeah. And then this one, this current place. Where right. he, he well, he's been there a while. Yeah. Which is like, it makes me think it was Jessica because, like, he, he's been there so long chilling. Yeah. And never got evicted. Yeah. Never got evicted for the constant, like, cops coming to his door. And Getting evicted for a noise complaint <coughs> is kind of wild, though. Yeah. I mean, she, she was being, n- so like. So maybe it was that plus all the other stuff. They were just like, all right, you can't have this. If, you're, if this is going to be you from now on, you can't be here. Yeah. If you're going to have this lady here screaming with you. Well, if you want to come crash here, Josh, you're always welcome. If you want to come to Canada. You're always welcome to chill in the stew. Chill in the stew. <laughs> you just can just, have, ch- <laughs> so just chill. He's just sleeping in his chair right there. That'd be awesome. <laughs> every, every episode. That'd be so sick. <laughs> just fast asleep. Sleeping. <laughs> we'll, we'll buy you like a six-pack a week or something on top of your normal booze stores. Yeah, you can use I have a dirty kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> you can make your meads. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, just no, no. We would prefer to not have a botulism breakout here, but you do, you buddy. Okay, we should probably wrap this, this yeah. bad boy up. Yes. All right, ladies and germs. A little trim today. Little trim. Little trim, but we're we're Short working it into sweet. the work sketch. So. so yeah. Check out John Boy. Check out Will Hannigan. Check out Will Hannigan. Thank you for listening, gentlemen. Bye bye.